and welcome back to Northgard. I decided to do another episode, guys. I didn't have much time to do uh, what I was planning on doing with uh, some arc. And I was like, you know what? I haven't played Northgard for a while. And let's do it. We're going to sync a player. We're going to go with green again. We're going to go normal this time instead of easy. Easy was pretty easy. I'm going to go with these. And I'm going to change this up. I'm going to go without the fame and trade. Mainly because we're going to do the ravens again. And so money is a little bit easier for them to get. And um, I want to try to get one of these. I don't think I've gotten those. So the achievement hunter inside of me wants to get one of those. <laughs> and then map special just in case. I can't achieve these. I don't want to like lose. But if I can, I'd like to get one of those. We're going to go with the Raven Clan again. And let's do this. Okay. So, I've already done a starter for this kind of series. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're just going to play. <laughs> I'm just going to play. I might say stuff every once in a while about why I'm doing it. But for the most part, it's pretty much what we did before. Is we want to get our house going. We want to get the scouting going. Right off the bat, I noticed we got this rocky spot, so that means we have to scout out this way. And see what's there. Looks like wolves here and here. Oh, I see sheep, though. Or goats. Can't remember what they are. I think they're sheep. We'll eat those, and like I said before, you eat them and you get... Uh, well, you kill them. <laughs> and you get 80 food right off the bat. So I'll get these guys going, and then make you two scouts. And uh, let's get scouting. Okay, so I got that going. I can't really tell if I see anything. Sometimes you can kind of get the lighting just right, like right here. You can kind of see that what's there, but I don't see any forest really. So probably just have to put down a woodcutter someplace. And I don't have the coast right off the bat, so we got two spots free to do whatever we want. But we'll have to find a coast so we can put our. Uh, our raiders down because I definitely want to try that. I want to do like two or three raiders and launch them at something. So we'll get this going and of course about the normal for that lore. I think that worked pretty good getting our production going and uh, getting the journeyman help for happiness points. And then once we scout it out we can start being more aggressive. Oh perfect. We got meat over here and a lore stone so we're gonna go ahead and colonize that. No wood. I don't need you to go that way guys. Well, at least you can go that way. Oh, I see. He was going over here. Never mind. Do that. I didn't see that. <laughs> and you go scout where he was going to scout. I accidentally clicked on the wrong guy. I didn't even notice this part right here. Alright, so we got this colonized. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, let's see, what can we do here? We can do two buildings. I can't do much, so we're going to do the woodcutter there. Just so I can have more stuff safe and sound like... You can put whatever you want on your first part, but I always feel like putting some things that are more important that I'd rather not lose if somebody attacked. That's just kind of my thinking about it. This is usually the farthest point away, so it's usually the, the safest spot. Like medics, like sometimes I put my healers there, so because I usually only have one, and that way I don't have to worry about losing them. Alright, so we learned. Oh, yes, look at this. Alright, so he's gonna go over there. I want you to scout here. And I want you to scout up here. So we got more food, iron, and more wolves. And then over here we got a Draugr spawner. Looks like another Draugr spawner. Wait, no. That's a Draugr spawner. That's a, that's a big lore stone for us to do. Sweet. Okay. So let's get our woodcutters going. <clears throat> and then let's get a woodcutter going. As soon as we get our 60 wood, we'll be getting some food. And then all we have to do is kill one wolf and we got more territory. So that's not too bad. Oh, I see a bear. Sometimes I like to leave those things if there's um more people. Like if I spot them, sometimes I'll use them as like a wall pretty much. Make them have to either kill them or weaken them for me, and then I'll jump in. Because bears are pretty tough, I'm not going to lie. They're a decent combatant compared to, say, like a group of wolves. Uh, probably even Draugr, too. I think you'd need three or four Draugr to compete with a bear. As far as, you know, deterring things. Okay, so we got a swamp with a bear in it. That's great. <laughs> what is... Yeah, go ahead, scout on your own. 
I don't need anything in particular. It's getting pretty far out there, so we're not gonna go. Oh, there's wood. Oh, there's a special area for the map, which is um, it could be a gate. I think that's the gate to Helium or whatever. Okay, woodcutter's got that. Okay, so now we got an extra guy. Go ahead, go over there. And now we got the wood. Let's go ahead and do a hunter's lodge here. And let's go ahead and have you build that. And then we're going to need another house pretty soon. So, I think what we'll do is we'll train our hunters real quick. And then we'll go hunt this, uh, this wolf. Because I only got one good woodcutter. And these guys will be on par with the woodcutters as far as strength and stuff. Look at that deer. He's so snoopy. He's like, what are you doing, man? It's a stone. What are you doing to the stone, man? <laughs> Alright, man. Okay, well, we got that going. And they got that going. And we got more people. We got two more slots. I could build a house here. Then again, we could claim this really quickly. And we'd have more food. We get stone. And look at this. I could put all... Well, let's see. No, I can't. I could put one for the woodcutter, or I mean the hunters, do the mine and then have a harbor, and once the mine's dried up then I could put two harbors down here. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and get um, you sir into getting us wood food. Same with you. It's getting close to winter, hopefully we can get enough food. Then again, I could colonize this with um, money, so let's do that. I forgot that's our bonus. And then we'll go ahead and get another Hunter's Lodge down here going. And get that food. Those yum-yums. No picking, just go. We want meat, not berries. Okay. Let's get more wood production going. And then you're going to go over here. Be a uh, hunter soon. I think. Yeah. Let's go ahead and use this guy and these guys. Oh, wait, I can't. I can't attack. Oh, shoot. I was going to use them to fight. Never mind. We're going to have to get a, 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 a fighter. I was going to use them to clear out that wolf, but you can only use military units. I forgot. Scout was hurt. Plan is starved and we need food, yes, I know. And on it. Perfect. Okay. We just made that just in time. So we're gonna definitely get as much food as possible going here. And the mine we can afford. We have the wood and we have the gold. So we'll go ahead and get that as soon as we get another villager. Which we're gonna have to do a house. I think we're gonna have to do a house here again. I know I mentioned it. Well, let's see. We don't need anything over here. Oh, we're full though. The woodcutter and that. I can always tear down a house. So let's see. We need uh, more wood. We're just gonna cut us close for the winter though. Oh man. Population that cannot grow. Okay, let's get the mine going. No sense wasting time doing anything. Let's get that for sure. What have you guys found? Another lore stone. Look at all these ridges we're finding. Which is nice because that means they have to come from down here through this bear to get to this area. It's kind of nice having these mountains, but at the same time, sometimes they're a nuisance. Especially if they have like food right on the other side and you're like, I need the food. <laughs> and you're stuck with rocks, you know? <laughs> you can't eat metal. Look at all this metal, speaking of which. There's a hundred metal there, a hundred there, or is that total? That must be total. There's no way there's 400 metal in that one spot. All right, let's go ahead and let's build another house temporarily. And I'm going to stick you to that because I don't have any more builders. We can always tear it down. It was only 10 gold and what, 50 wood? Yeah. Okay, we'll get that going. Scattered gates, yep, I thought that's what it was. The gates of Helium, and we got 50 fame for that. There is quite a lot of Valkyries there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, there's there's five of them. Holy smokes. 
Scout was hurt during exploring. Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose them because I just don't have time to get a healer's hut to go. So we got so much stuff going. I think that's the biggest thing between normal and easy is the fact that like at the beginning we didn't have as many things to fight. And now it's like every tile has something on it, if not worse. You know, there's like four wolves, no, five wolves over there. There's five um, evil Valkyries here. We've already got two bears. There's a quite a bit of nasty things going on. Okay. And we're under attack again. Hunters, go deal with that, please. One guy could do it, but just in case. Okay, now go back to hunting for us. Let's see, do we want... Yeah, let's get the scouting going. Mining isn't that big of a deal. And now we got that guy built us a house, so we got five more slots. Gold's going to go down, so the next priority is probably going to get a harbor. Which is 100 wood and 50 gold. But, if we can get it in time we'll be able to produce money. It's just a matter of time. There's no research things I found. Resource things. There's no scouting things I'm saying. <laughs> I just realized that. There's no uh, shipwrecks. There's no ruins. We're in a little bit of a time crunch as far as money goes. As soon as we get the hundred wood it's going straight into the harbor. I could do a trading post too if I really had to. But I need space. In fact, I'm not going to bother. We have food going. I think we'll save, um... <sighs> That'd be so nice, though. How many sheep were there? Four? That's, uh, what? 320... No. Yeah, 320 food? Right off the bat. That's tempting. <laughs> Plus, we could get to the farm pretty, pretty quickly. Hmm... Okay, I think we'll do a harbor. We're making money, so let's go ahead and get that going. Right there. Get on top of that, sir. And then we're going to have to expand like crazy um, as soon as we can to try to get more food going. We're going to have to eat the sheep, because we can't do anything with them. Only the goat clan can do anything with that. So we're just food. We're going to hold a feast if we can get enough food. I didn't even do one last time because we were so busy. Holy cow, you guys are going like crazy. I got one guy left. There's one. Son of a gun. Way out here. Look at this. There's more bears. There's a bear here. There's a bear over there. So many bears. Alright. You guys want to go take care of that? If anything, we gotta get rid of that wolf for that reason. I hope they fix this soon. <laughs> it's been a while since I recorded last time, and it's this graphical thing. It's just nuisance more than anything, like I said. Okay. I need some sailors. Hop in that boat. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. We're doing it. We're gonna go raid. Vikings love to raid. We're gonna go with lore since I'm not gonna need fame for a while. Oh, we're gonna make money. And speaking of luck, look at that. Ah, uh, let's get medicine. I'm gonna have to get a healer going. And as soon as we get our wood, we're gonna go ahead and get this. We're gonna need wood too, because an earthquake's gonna come with 50% of our buildings getting damaged. Or damage 50% of our buildings. What now? Repair that. Holy smokes, because we were damaged um, for taxes. No! Stop! Stop! Please stop burning. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. So we got four more population. I've got new wood. And the healer's hut needs 60 wood. We're going to have to go with a fighter. I got one slot left here. Because we're going to have to expand here. How many slots? Three? 
We can kill these guys for the food. Actually, it's all the feast. I have all summer to make more food, but currently I need a bunch of production going right now. Especially since I'm going to use all this wood and we're going to need more for um, repairing buildings. In fact, I want to hold off because I'm going to have to fix this afterwards. Let's hold off a little bit longer. If I build that, I'm going to have to repair it right as soon as I'm done, which I don't want to do. <laughs> Stone wise, two more stone, we can upgrade our food. But we need more gold, which is fine. We're gonna have that soon, too. And then, yeah, we'll get rid of one of these houses, build it here, and we'll probably put a healer's hut. Or maybe I'll just put a healer's hut here. Skip it. You do that. What are you doing over here? Oh, that portal sounds evil. <laughs> As soon as I hovered over there, you could just hear the evil coming out of it. You know what? We don't have time. Let's do it. No. I have no idea. Let's see. It was 10 wood, 10 wood. So let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 wood. We're probably going to need at least 90 wood to fix everything. So that means I need 170 wood. Ugh. Let's just wait. We're going to have unhappy points, but we have population currently, so let's just wait. Ugh. So yeah, I think that's the difference between easy and hard. Oh my god, this graphics. Half the rocks are gone now. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay. And the feast is gonna cost us 150 food, so let's just hold off. Yes, I know, I know. You're an unhappy lot, but it's gonna get improved. As soon as we get this, we can get more food. We can get some more space for the healers. Journeyman, look at this. Happy points for everybody. There we go. <laughs> that was perfect timing. Okay. As soon as this hits, we're probably gonna do it. Actually, we have enough wood now. Let's do it. Training camp. Because pretty soon it's going to be winter, and I don't want to fight these guys in the winter. I want that food now. And we could hold another feast. But that's all of our food, so I don't want to do that. Scout has died. Alright, we lost our scouts. So let's hold off, and then... Um... Manor's Harbor... Explore, use your sailors. It costs 30? Let's hold off on that. But that could be a good option. While they're out there doing stuff, they can do some scouting. Of, and then we'll have the whole outside at least scouted, almost. Ideas. I timed this to where it might be almost done. So it won't technically have to get fixed. But it should be built in time before I have to re-click it. We got a lot of territory that's, uh, it's pretty well buffered. <laughs> like, these guys finally killed that one bear. How many warriors they went through, I have no idea. And now they have wolves here, wolves here. The uh, Draugr here. Nothing there, so they're gonna get some free wood and then more territories under attack. Yep. And it's gonna cost, oh, only 60 wood. I, I was pretty close. And it's, uh, almost built. Boom. Nailed it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fix those. That was close. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, ah, oh, shoot. I didn't want you to be a warrior. You have, like, no health. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez Louise, dude. Bloodthirsty Viking. I totally clicked you first, and I don't know why he went in. So, let's do the 80 food, since I have more food than gold. And then we're going to have lots of food here pretty soon, guys. <laughs> and then we're going to get um, a healer's hut. And another mine. Actually, let's hold off on that for now. Let's get that going. I still have this mine going. 
Which, speaking of, let's increase our food production. Let's see, upgrade town hall first. Okay. Ah, I need a hundred wood. We're gonna hold a feast. Because it lasts for one season. Which I think is one of these bars down here. It looks like they're broken up. And we're gonna slaughter some uh, goats to the gods. <laughs> Sheep. Whatever they are. Very nice. And then we're gonna go fight these guys. So we can get more food production going, probably. Okay. No! Son of a gun. Actually, no, let's hold off on that one. Okay, we need another warrior. I thought I could get them out in time. We need to get another house going. This is why I'm trying to get this. I need, um... Another house going now. And then I need both warriors down here. And what do we want? Weaponsmithing? Why not? And then we'll probably do some trade. And now we're going to get more food going. Like I said before, the Draugr don't seem to be as aggressive. I noticed. We're going to colonize this for... Probably the food. Wait, no, no, no. Food. I heard that. <laughs> I was like, wait, I didn't switch it. And then we need more wood for the farmer, so we're gonna do a wood cutter here. Because I can always change it later. And. Where is the miner? You can now go over here. I can demolish that. And you're probably going to be a woodcutter because I need more wood right now than I need stone. I have enough stone for two buildings, but I don't have enough wood to upgrade them, so that's no point. And then we'll get some more food production going. Go ahead, go over here. Military units have 30% reduced power. Yeah, it's because winter time. And then boom, okay. Both of you are woodcutters. Perfect. And just because I need more heals, I got four injured people, I'm gonna make you a healer as well. And there we go, we have enough wood and we're making more wood. That we can go ahead and upgrade this. And then we'll have to save up more wood. I think next I'm going to want to push into here just because there's a forest, which will be nice. It'll have wolves and a bear, but the bear I don't think believe. I've never seen him roam. He always stays in one spot, so. The Valkyries won't be able to come here. I don't think they move either. And then we can worry about this section later. I'd like to get more lore going, but since we have harbors, it's not as big of an issue. And there we go. Let's see. We're losing food. So as soon as summer hits, we're going to go ahead and get that going. Because we're losing 10 wood right now, so we'll have 18 wood production. No, it won't be that much. We still need firewood, but not 10. We can always sacrifice more goats or sheep, whatever these things are. <laughs> I got one sheep left. Where are you hiding? <laughs> He's like, my friends keep getting eaten. You go over here. Also, by the way, I don't know if you guys... Oh, no, no, no. No sheep, run. If you... You can move the sheep. And so if you want, you can take a territory, steal the sheep from it, put them in your home territory, and no one can do anything about it. <laughs> it's just a little sneaky thing I found. I've done it a couple times. Okay. We got one more guy again healed up, which is probably that warrior, and then we are ready for summer, guys. And then I might send out some more scouts. We are making quite a bit of money. But then again, what would I do? 
I've already got enough stuff to deal with as it is, but maybe... Ooh, the Jato. Let's see, there's some housing down here. Can I maybe find... Oh, there's a village here for the blue guys. Oh, they're right over here. I bet I could do it. Alright, let's do it. Let's send one guy to be a scout. Let's make him start scouting out so that we can do trade and it'll get us more money. And we can start selling food to those guys so that if we want to, we can get enough happy points with them. And, um, yeah, we could, uh, do a pincer move or something. Actually, I want to say they move into our territory, one of them. Okay, so now we have wood. Let's go ahead and get a farm going. Let's get two builders. Another guy, because he's going to be a farmer next. So we have two more spots for housing. Let's go ahead and get a mine going as well. So the next guy that pops out is going to work on that. That way we can get rid of the mine and we can build another house here. Otherwise we can do nothing. Shoot. We're going to have to get rid of the woodcutter to put a mine here eventually. Okay, one last research. Trading. It's trading routes with trading posts. Yeah. And there we go. We got stuff. Happy points would probably be a good thing. I don't need metal and stone right now. But I need more population soon. You, sir. I'm gonna go over there. As soon as you two. Boom. There we go. And let's go ahead and increase... Let's increase... To be honest, I could always tear that down to make another... <laughs> I could make three harbors there if I really wanted to. So let's upgrade this one for now. Just in case I feel crazy. And then... You are going to go become another hunter. Would you increase our food production? Where's our scout doing? He has discovered. Let's go ahead and discover those guys so I can trade with them next. Where did he go? Oh, he's moving through this territory. Okay, there he goes. Oh, we're being attacked again. <gasps> okay. You guys need to run. Warriors. There they are. Go kill that one Draugr for me, please. And there we go, guys. We're doing it. <laughs> We're normal. We're doing it. We got quite a buffer zone. I'm not gonna lie. They have to kill so many things before they even get to us. Which is amazing. But next thing we're gonna do is gonna push over here so we can get more wood production. So I can get rid of this woodcutter, put a mine there, and uh, all that fun stuff. So let's see, you're gonna be a miner. And you're gonna be a miner. So we can get that done quicker too. And there we go. We're almost out of time, but I just give you a little heads up what we plan on doing next. I have no slots left. I could build one here, but then I'm just going to have to tear it down again. In fact, let's go ahead and push into this territory right now before we stop this episode. Three wolves there. Who's going to be first one in? That guy? Nope, this guy. So I'll get ready to pull him out. Oh, he still killed him. Oh, he was so far away. Alright, and we're going to colonize this with some gold. Do we want to do that? What's this one? Oh, wood and food? Yeah, we're probably going to go with the money. Just because I have that and I need the food. And there we go. We have established contact with the Jatu. So now we can start trading and said food with them. We're going to get our wood production going up here. Right now. And as soon as we get a builder ready, we're going to free him up and put him there. Actually, do it. Yeah, I don't need to... Uh... Actually, I do. I need one healer. But there we go. That's it. I'm going to pause this before it goes off. We got stuff going. We're going to get more stone. We're going to do some more upgrading. I'll probably do some wood. I'll probably do the woodcutter upgrade it here. And yeah, we're cruising along, but we got <laughs> we got a lot of fighting ahead of us before we get anywhere. And I will see you guys next time.